Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm in Middletown, Delaware today. <laughs> I, you probably don't know where that is. I didn't know where it was either, but this guy lives here, and that's pretty important. <laughs> this is my buddy Glenn. Oz Star, go ahead and tell them what your uh, YouTube channel is and your Instagram and stuff. That way we'll get that out of the way and then move right into the rest. Absolutely. Great to have you here, Garrett. Good to see you. Great to be here. My name's Glenn. I have the Oz Star channel here on YouTube. I do all types of automotive videos. So it can be a repair. Uh, today we've, we're going to have this detailing going on. So basically that's what it is. It's all automotive related. So we, just to be completely transparent, we've been friends for a while online. I had never officially met Glenn until I got here yesterday, and um, he's been an amazing host, putting me up at his house. We've been hanging out for the last couple of days. Paid him to say that. <laughs> well, you know, I just wanted to, it's, it's always important when you do these videos that you explain exactly what's happening. I haven't paid Glenn for anything. Um, we've known each other for a few years. Yeah, through, I, well, been he's using, been a customer of mine. He I mean, pays for the product. For five years at least, I've been using The it. reality is I'm here. I brought product to do some demos and to, you know, help him clean up his personal cars. You know, what he's getting for free is I'm going to leave the products. I now am going to just give him some stuff just because he's a friend of mine now. Um, prior to today, you've always paid for everything, Absolutely. and that—that that is the truth. That's the um, truth. So I know, you know, a lot of YouTube, you know, you can get caught up in what's bullshit and what's not. It's kind of where I'm at, and you guys know I'm not a bullshitter. I like to keep it real, and that's where we're at. He is a friend of mine. I never officially met him until yesterday, and he pays for products just like everybody else. He loves the products. He Absolutely. reached out to me and said, hey, we should do a video together. And so here I am. And yep. it's been an amazing couple days. Yeah. So this is his 2018 Corvette Grand Sport. It is gorgeous. What's the official color name? Admiral Blue. Um, this color looks awesome in the low light, but outside in the sun, it's, it's, pop. it's intense. It's yeah. very, very vibrant. Uh, the metallic just jumps right out at you. And like most new cars, they are not good to go when you buy them. <laughs> you have got to have them detailed. Whether you do it yourself or hire a professional like myself, they are not flawless. They have scrap. I mean, you've got, you know, once they get off the assembly line, they then have to be staged to be put on a truck. Then they're usually put on a train to get wherever they're going. People touch them from the time they're assembled to the time they're transported to the dealer. And then that's the big problem. You've got your random $10 <laughs> an hour lot porter that doesn't care whether it's a, a Pinto or a Corvette. They don't care about anything, but putting in that little bit of time and going and doing what they've got to do. So they're wiping on these things, scratching them all up. Um, they're washing them with dirty wash mitts. They're Rocking dropping them, stuff, yep. washing the car. That is what your de dealer will do. I mean, I, that's why I call it the stealership. Um, <laughs> they're doing everything not in your best interest. So your best bet if you're going to buy a car like this, if you don't want it to be already hacked up when you get it, where you've actually got to put time and effort into it, your best bet is either to order it or check the date to where to where it got to that dealership. When did that dealer get that car? They can they'll tell you that. I think it's a pretty good the thing. The sooner you can get it, the better. Yeah, the sooner you hands, take it better. out of their hands, the better off you are detailing wise. However, if you were to get something off the lot, this was sitting for a while, right? Yes. Yeah, it was several months. Oh, several months. So that's several it's, and and every dealership that has cars sitting outside, they have they pay as little money as possible, whether it's a company that they hire to come in or their lot porters that go and just wipe the cars down. They are not caring about the scratches they put in, the chips, none of that, because most people don't understand. They don't know. They're not going to ask them to fix it. Now, this is me telling you, you should absolutely work that in to your negotiation. If you see your cars all swirled up, your dealer will do something about that. Um, after all, you are paying them sometimes, what, seven, eight hundred bucks to, to prep a car right. when it comes off the truck. 
Well, this on the vest, it's like twelve hundred bucks. So there you go. Destination fees. Yeah, that's what that's. So I could get incredibly long-winded because I'm passionate about this stuff. But what I want you to know is, if you want the car that you're buying to not be all hacked up or to be as less hacked as possible, <laughs> buy it when the dealership gets it or even pre-order it. I mean, not you know, I've recently pre-ordered the Camaro, yeah. so um, I'm gonna get a car. My specific demand, not even a request, was that you you get the notion or you get the word that the, the car is on its way to your dealership, I get a phone call first, then that car comes off that truck and it gets parked. I don't want you to touch it, I don't want your lock porters <laughs> driving it, I want it to be, I want a phone call to me, pull it off the truck, and it doesn't move till I get there. So that's kind of that's a pretty realistic demand and you can do that. That's the bottom line. I do it all the time. Every car I buy, um, I've never ordered a car before this one. And I'll talk more about that later, but we're here to use the brand new one system from detailjuice.com. I'm going to do just some quick demos, nothing fancy. There are other videos for the demos, but we're going to be detailing this car. Glenn and I are going to detail this car. Uh, we're shooting the intros for our videos right now. I'm going to I don't know, I, I kind of feel like we don't have to do the demos really. I don't think it's even, I, I think that this video will get way too long with Maybe it. Maybe just so, say what, what each product yeah, does, yeah. Right? So, what, what you have. Absolutely. Of, for, for new viewers who have no clue maybe what this is about. Absolutely, so the one system is seven different products. It was specifically designed for the professional detailers out there who, or even the weekend warrior who wants to make money detailing. These are seven products that are really all you need to get fantastic results on any vehicle um, or boat or motorcycle or golf cart or dirt bike, it doesn't matter. These products are all you need for any of those. Um, they are geared towards making money in detailing, but that's not where it stops. If you're a general consumer, if you're an enthusiast, you'll get amazing results with them too. Uh, they're just slam packed with value and everything a pro detailer or the, the person who wants to make money doing it would need. So it takes a lot of complication out of what do you need. That's it. Um, so without further ado, we'll go right into it. Um, there are two different ways you can wash the vehicle. Can I be like Vanna White? You want to hold it? Sure. Yeah, I like it. I like I'm it. And you're sexy Vanna White. Well, you're, you're cute too. That's what I was getting <laughs> ready to say. Oh, I don't know about that part, Gary. <laughs> so, so here's what we have two here. different ways to wash. You've got the Infinite Use Detail Juice 1, which is the evolution of the original Infinite Use Detail Juice. It smells so good. It, well, it has the same scent as the original. So if you love that, which pretty much everyone did. That's why I went with the same scent on that one. It was designed to be a spray and wipe coating. Uh, it is a protective product, but we didn't stop there in the development process. I wanted it to be more concentrated and work as well or better as everything the original Infinite, Infinite Use Detail Juice does. Now, as a pro detailer, that will d dilute two ounces to one gallon for your pre-soak, your detail spray, and all the other uses that the original will do. Um, the bottle says four ounces to one gallon. You will get more slickness, more gloss, more protection, and better lubrication using per what the bottle says. But I'm letting you know that it will work if you're trying to get the most value out of it. It works great at two ounces per one gallon of water, and it works great at the same rinseless wash dilution as the original, which is one quarter of an ounce to a gallon of water. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you can wash with the Infinite Use Detail Juice Wands, or the Universal Shampoo is a blend of the perfect soap from my infinite lineup, which is a great maintenance soap, it literally is the perfect soap. Uh, if you look at what you need in a soap, it doesn't leave a buildup or, or residue. Uh, but this also is more concentrated than the perfect soap, but it also has the polymer system in it of my gloss enhancing shampoo from my force field protection system lineup. So with the combo of incredible concentration, no buildup, and the polymer blend that leaves behind per, well, no protection. It's not for protection. The polymers leave behind gloss and slickness that make the paint look better in between washes. So it's not good for 
adding protection, which is why we've got the Infused Detail Juice 1 and the other two coatings. But it will make the paint look amazing when you use the coatings in between washes. It'll just amplify the gloss, the shine, and the slickness. So that's those two products. The next product is the Clean and Prep. So Universal Clean and Prep is very much like IPC, the Infinite Purpose Cleaner that you all know and love. It's more concentrated, so you'll use less product to get more work done. Uh, but beyond that, it also has the stripping power of my stripper product from the force field protection system, which that lineup is my specialty line. It's all the in-between products go in that line. So this has the stripping ability. It also has the prep. Um, so the primer, if you will, that allows my protective products to bond better to the surface uh, that's in my Infinite Finish and um, the Universal Clean and Prep um, will obviously clean and prep for the protective products, the all-in-one and that kind of thing. So uh, this dilutes up to one part product to 11 parts water, which is pretty significant because the IPC, Infinite Purpose Cleaner, my Infinite lineup, uh, Everybody loves that product. This is better, but the IPC dilutes one part product to seven parts water. So definitely more concentrate and it does more stuff. Bottom line on that. Moving right along, universal dressing. If you've been following the One System and the development and the release and all of that, you'll know that universal dressing was the last and final product in the One System. It was almost not gonna make the cut because Universal Coating, which is another product I'll talk about, that product works great to darken your tires and make them look new and nice. However, some people, especially in the making money world, um, detailers will need to give you know, the customer what they want and some customers like a shinier tire, glossier tire, that kind of thing. So I needed something in there that not only gave you incredible value, but also worked uh, and was tunable to what you liked. M very much like my transform dressing from the Infinite lineup. However, this has the durability of, uh, actually it's even better than my tough tire gel from my signature series. Um, so highly dilutable. Uh, this actually, on the bottle it says one part product to three parts water is where you should start. The reality in a professional world is we always want to try to push products as far as we can push them. This product will actually dilute and work fantastic at one part product to five to six parts, actually six parts water. So you can make out of one 16 ounce bottle, you can get up to six 16 ounce bottles out of one 16 ounce bottle. So if you do the math, on all these products, you'll find that it's incredible. You can apply the whole system to this whole car for less than $10. That is considerable. Um, so that's the universal dressing. Uh, if you use it straight, you're wasting it. Pretty much like um, all of the dilutable products in the one system. So universal all-in-one, correct and protect, is essentially, um, well, it's, it's not, it, it's not essentially what the Evo all-in-one was. It is completely different now. It is VOC free and water-based. Uh, so are my other polishes now, but that's an incredible upgrade to the solvent base that most com companies are using. It's safer for you to use. Um, they don't dust. It's pretty awesome. They wipe away really easily. And the cool part is you can use them in direct sunlight uh, and they wipe right off. You're not gonna get that caked on, nasty surface feeling and, and really have to worry about the concrete that you know some polishes will leave behind that's hard to get off. This stuff, it cuts well, but it is a finishing polish essentially, uh, but it protects using our ceramic acrylics technology. That is basically ceramic and acrylic shoved into one, it's a hybrid. It, where it's all the best stuff on the market for protection. The hybrid is amazing. Uh, this is our proprietary technology for detailjuice.com. No one else on the planet has that technology. So universal all-in-one correct and protect. It works awesome by hand and by machine. So if you're a guy uh, that, or, or a woman that wants to polish their vehicle and get some great results, but you're not using a polisher yet, well, I highly recommend you go out and buy the Harbor Freight DA, the backing plate and the pads that I sell on detailjuice.com. But if you don't want to do that, you can use a foam applicator and just wipe it in, wipe it off. That's Simple it. Simple enough. 
even by hand you'll get great cut with that uh, as well. So the final products in the one system are the two coatings. So in the one system consumer situation that you can buy on detailjuice.com, all these white bottles, uh, you with the whole system of the one system on your car, you can expect up to two years of durability for uh, the full system on your car. So for two years, you shouldn't have to do anything but wash. That's the bottom line. Um, now I say up to because prep is going to uh, be a variance, um, your weather conditions, uh, your maintenance regimen, um, you know, all of that, I actually, you, I recommend highly use Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 uh, about once every six months to maintain, to make sure that everything is good and shiny and glossy and protected. Um, you really don't have to use it, but it will make the car look its best at all times. Uh, or you can use the universal shampoo to wash. Uh, and like I said, it will top off the, well, not the protection, but it'll top off the gloss and everything. Then you can hit it with Infinite Use Detail Juice 1 uh, for that solid maintenance. Um, I would say you wouldn't need it more than once every six months. You could use it anytime you want. Uh, there's no problem with layering, but it's not necessary. Um, that particular product. So these two products, you apply universal coating and while it's wet, so you work one panel at a time. Apply universal coating while it's wet, you go right behind it with the Ultra Endurance Max Coat and you put it in there and they blend, the two products blend together. There's a chemical reaction that you can see taking place. You'll wait about, I usually will do, I'll apply the universal coating to a section and then immediately apply the Ultra Endurance Max Coat. Then I'll walk to the next section and then I'll apply those two next section, those two, and I'll go all the way around the car. This is out of the sun, I would do this. If you're in the sun, you do that one section, focus on that one section, and then buffing it off, then move on. Never, ever, ever do the whole car in the sun. When you use the product, you will notice, you'll, you'll, you'll be more aware of this chemical reaction that takes place. This stuff turns really hard, pretty fast, and you don't want it to get so cured that it won't be easy to buff off. It's, it's really not that complicated or that dramatic, but it is something that you definitely need to keep in mind and pay attention to while you're working it on. So if you're doing it in the shade, I wouldn't worry about it. The, you're, it's gonna be a slow cure inside out of direct sun, sunlight. It will start to cure faster outside. Um, so my recommendation is always doing a coating inside, not outside, especially not in direct sunlight. If you've got shade, that's better than direct sunlight. So these two products go on at the end as the ultimate protection. You can use universal coating on every exterior surface. The Ultra Endurance Max Coat should not be used on black plastic trim because of the application system uh, and the product in there that allows it to haze up. That will stain your black plastic trim, so just don't get it on the trim and you're fine. Uh, but you could use both of them on glass, wheels, uh, paint obviously, vinyl decals, your plastic headlamps, tail lamps. Uh, headlights, taillights, all of that is fine for both these products. So that has been a brief description of all of the seven products in the one system from detailjuice.com. So Glenn and I are gonna get started on this car <laughs> and at the end, I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna feel and react so that you can get an idea of what these products look like actually put to work. So stay, stay tuned, we'll be right back with the finished product. So we'll snap our fingers and be right back. And you can catch a breath. That's right. <laughs> <laughs>